it's the holidays and we want to celebrate with Cosmo, make sure our dogs, our cats, and our little pets are taken care of during the holidays and that they also get decoration too. So we are going to make a little Christmas collar for Cosmo. Okay, so we're going to start and Cosmo, you can do the reveal ready. Woo! I need Cosmo for a little bit of sizing. Do you hear feedback? Hold on one second. Okay. All right, so let me continue and we can size Cosmo's neck. I'm gonna go around the neck once. So not too tight, his neck circumference is about this big. So I'm gonna double that and then I'm gonna go a little further than that. And then I'm gonna clip that off. Okay, so how I'm gonna put this together, the last time I put a flower crown together, I put it the same way. So the ends here, I'll show it here. I twist it together, right? And then that goes in the middle. And then the ends of this, now this loop, I just go like this. Okay, now I formed two loops. One loop on this end, and one loop on this end, and that'll allow me to either put a ribbon through later on, or I can just go like this and like put it through and then tie it up together like that. So we'll see how that goes, but I think I didn't have, I didn't bring a new ribbon here, so maybe that's what I'll end up doing. Okay, so thank you so much, Cosmo. We'll ask you back later after your flower crown is all done. So the materials that we're using today are, we're gonna start with the cedars. So we have seasonal cedar, it's gonna be a base of the cedar. And then I have gold tipped cedar, which is so cute. It has little tips of yellow. We'll see the eucalyptus, but just the seeds. Ilex berries here. These are hyacinths, they smell gorgeous. They're pretty much all blown open. So I'm gonna take each floret and wire and tape it. I found little fun, little cute, glittery mini ornaments. They're just little balls. Um, and I'm gonna wire that up. Let's start with the Ilex. So I'm gonna take a piece of Ilex on here. Maybe leave off a little bit of that stem right there. Um, take wire. The wire that I'm using is a 24 gauge and it comes as a straight wire. So I wrap it around one of the bottommost stem and then I am using my trusty tape here to tape that up. So go around, you pull, you twist, you pull, and then you, and then the sticky comes out. Okay, that's how I wired and taped all of my Ilex and I have all of them ready to go right here. And then now I'm gonna go into my hyacinth so these are, some of them are like, uh, like a variegated two-tone, which is so pretty. I took one floret right here. And then what I do is I take the wire, okay? And then I make a little hook. So I bend one end of it to make a little hook like that. Okay? And then I go through the top and I pull it down and I just pull it down a little way so that it gets stuck and now it doesn't move. Okay, don't pull it all the way through or else um, you're just gonna break through and then you have nothing to tape. So this is a little tricky because this is a delicate little piece of floret. So you take the tape and take it all the way, uh, maybe halfway up the bloom and then you put your thumb against and then you twist. You twist and grab, and then once you get away from the bloom, it gets easier. Here are all the ones that I have. I'm gonna go into my um, little little balls. Um, same way as if this is a flower, I'm going to bend the tip. And this is a styrofoam, so I'm just gonna go through the top. You find a spot that goes easily through, and then you. That's it. We'll take the tape to the top of the wire, the neck of the ball, and 
then twist and twist and twist and then I taped it okay so in case this wants to come out now the tape is stopping it from coming out okay these little balls ready to go they came in a pack um, I actually had these for a while and then we took out all of our Christmas supplies for our Christmas installs so I found a little pack of it actually today's flower uh, the dog collar was going to be more of like a Christmas, like traditional kind of a Christmas theme, but I saw this and then I saw these being blown open and I also saw the beautiful orange Ilex in the cooler. So I figured, why don't I make it like a little pastel kind of thing with the Christmas elements of the cedar. So now I am going to start. The cedars, I'm actually not going to wire because it's pretty tough. As you know, evergreen is kind of last. So I kind of put it up again. So this is my first go on the base of this um, dog collar. Okay, and obviously the all of these can be applied to a flower crown. So if you want to use this whole recipe or bits and pieces of it um, to create a flower crown for yourself or for your kids or something like that, you can very well go ahead and do that. But I need to do a delicate one for Cosmo because Cosmo is so tiny. I also am not using any furs because the pine needles are pretty brutal and I don't want it poking him. Um, I'm gonna keep going. So the, the um, whole idea of flower crowns or even wreaths, you wanna sort of alternate as you go. So I went on that side, so I'm gonna take a bunch and then put it right here and then I'm going to go into my various elements go into my little green ball right here okay how about I go into my fresh floral sometimes I'm also going to just double up to make a little bit more of an impact let's see like this this is definitely a labor of love I love using seeded eucalyptus because it has so much, um, it provides so much texture, but I will, I can't forget to keep using the cedar because the cedar will create that holiday feel. So let me just rip it off. Okay, so he's going to get a little more blinged out with the glitter. And I'm going to go into a little more of my flowers that's a little trail so i'm going to keep alternating but i still don't want it to be completely like very even even going all or, you know all through it so a little bit of that sort of natural um motion is what i usually desire in an arrangement Make it. hmm M. Judy, maybe you need, maybe you spell check. <laughs> I'm going. All right, so. Let me do a good chunk of the, the gold tip cedar right here. The cedar tends to droop, so actually what I probably should have done was make it tighter, but it's all right. I'm gonna tuck it to the back. Um, go into my little holiday balls. Okay, let me go back to my little purple. So I love like the delicate and also um, the pastel tones of this. Did everybody do their trees yet? And if so, what color palette did you choose? I would love to know. I want to make it tight because Cosmo is has such a you know thin, delicate neck that um, if it bends like this, you're gonna have too much space. So it's good to stay really tight and keep doing this. And then the cedar, I'm gonna go into. Cosmo is almost. Done. This is all for you, Kaz. 
Flower pounds definitely is a lot of handwork. Usually all of the prep takes a lot of time and then the making isn't as slow time-wise. There you go, it's coming along. Okay, put it together. A good chunk of coverage. Almost done guys, almost done. So now it's getting shorter, a little more tricky. I'm gonna keep it down on the table and go like this. I have one last florette left. And then keep it right here. Put it together with a seed. Use the bottom piece, put it together. And welcome back, Cosmo. Okay, Cosmo's back. Sometimes he screams out of nowhere and it shocks all of us. So I didn't want that happening while I'm quietly making his flower crown. So he was actually kicked out. Oh, that's a great idea as a mistletoe. You could hang this like this. Or as a festive little flower crown. Maybe it could even be like a, a quarter crown. Like that. But how about we clear the space? Ready? Let's see. Woohoo! Cosmo! Your holiday collar. Okay, so I put it actually through the loop. There you go. He is ready for a holiday party. So in actuality, I think that I probably should have made it a tad longer, or what I could always do is just put a bow on it. Either it could be that way or flip it around and have the bow in the front like that. But even still, it's so cute. Thank you so much for joining me again um, this week and stay tuned for next week where we will be doing more fun holiday creations. Thank you so much, guys. Say bye, Cosmo. Bye.